Right, you guys got another mini PC video here for you. This one is the Geekom XT series. This one is the XT12 mini PC from Geekom. It's a 12th generation Intel Core i9 12900H CPU with 32 gigabytes of DDR4 memory inside here. We have a one terabyte M.2 in here as well. And it does come with a three year limited warranty. This is everything you're going to get inside the box. If you buy one, you get your plug and you also get your uh, HDMI cable here and also your power adapter which is this one here very small and lightweight it does come with a barrel connector on here and the plug just plugs into it and it's that simple now you're also going to get your warranty card and welcome letter and things like that inside here and you also get your uh, manual here this is going to help you set up your mini PC very simple and easy to do also you get some screws here and a back plate to mount it to a that's a mount TV if you wanted to or monitor. Also, the mini PC is this one right here. It's white and silver, and I really like the look of this actual mini PC. On the front, we do have our power button here, our audio input, and we have two USB ports on the front. Both of these USB ports are USB 3.2 Gen 2 ports. One of them is capable of charging, and the other one is also used for data as well. On the side, we do have this honeycomb style ventilation here on the side with a Kenston lock on that side. And on this side, we just have the ventilation area here to allow heat to dissipate through here. On the back, we have our power input. We have two USB 4 ports. These are Gen 3 ports uh, for USB 4. And we have two HDMI 2.0 ports and a 2.5 gigabit Ethernet port and two USB ports on the back. One of them is USB 3.2 Gen 2 and the other one is a USB 2.0 Type-A port on there as well. And we have that expansion bit up the top to allow heat to dissipate for the CPU and GPU there. On the bottom, we have this honeycomb type of effect and we have four screws and some anti-slip rubber feet on the bottom. We can remove these screws here to allow access to inside the actual case. Now we can see here, we do have a copper plate with some thermal pad here. This is to allow to cool down the uh, NVMe drive. And that's a PCI Express Gen 4 slot there for your NVMe. This one has a Lexa drive in here. And this one is a one terabyte drive inside there. We also have another little SATA one right next to it, which is the M.2 uh, Key B slot which is for your storage. If you want to add more storage in here, you can do. And we have also memory in here. The memory is DDR4 uh, 2060 pin, 3200 megahertz, so dim, up to 64 gigs you can put in there. Again, this is Alexa uh, memory as well, which is very nice memory to have in a system like this. So good quality components. It also has an M.2 uh, Wi-Fi slot on here, which is a 2230 Wi-Fi slot on there as well which is Wi-Fi 6E and Bluetooth 5.2. Now, the CPU on this one is the 12th Gen Core i9 12900H, and that is that is 14 cores and 20 threads at 5 gigahertz and 24 megabytes of cache level 3. Now, before we do anything with this particular mini PC, I'm going to run a full scan with Windows security to see whether there was any malware on here because we've had issues with mini PCs showing malware on them. And again, this one has no malware on it whatsoever, as you'd expect from a big company like Geekom. Let's run a Geekbench 6 CPU benchmark. The single core is 2,373 and a multi-core is 10,517, which is pretty impressive. What we're gonna do next is run a GPU benchmark here with Geekbench 6 as well, and that come in at 15,419 for the OpenCL uh, score. Next up, we're gonna run Cinebench R23 here, and we'll get a score for the multi-core score here, and that come in at 12,037 points, which is pretty impressive. Next up, we're gonna run CPU-Z and take a look at some of the stats. I'll also do a quick benchmark on here just to show you there is no thermal throttling or any uh, temperature issues with this mini PC. You can see all the specs there on the right hand side on CPU-Z and I'll go through and show you the main board and show you the memory and stuff like that so you can see all of the settings right here. Pretty impressive stats for a little mini PC like this and uh, we're just going to run a quick benchmark here and I'll do a stress test on the CPU by just clicking on this one here and if you see the temperatures here this will max out the CPU and uh, we will see whether there's any temperature problems or any thermal throttling or anything like that. And I didn't see any issues here, which is pretty good. So let's take a look up a bit further 
there we go the thermal throttling is not happening at all so if you want to play games here or you wanted to do any sort of photoshop or anything like that you could do this with this mini pc no problem at all with that core i9 processor in here plenty of raw power there for all of those tasks of course you can play all your 4k movies uh, using plex or you can stream movies straight down like this on uh, youtube or any other platform and you can see 4k has having no trouble at streaming at all we're getting no drop frames at all looking at stats for nerds here a pretty impressive little mini pc if you want to use this just for streaming content or even watching 4k movies it can handle all of that stuff now taking a look at uh, the jellyfish 400 mbps 4k ultra hd 10-bit file here this is a pretty hard file to run and you can see it's having no trouble at all just a little start there when i drag it and uh, and that's pretty normal but it stabilizes immediately and you get awesome playback as you can see here so it's going to have no trouble with this type of content and that's pretty high definition content right there now the graphics on this is the iris xe graphics because we do have that 12th generation intel core i9 processor in here so playing games should be no problem or whatsoever. Now, depending on the resolution and the types of settings you're doing and the types of games you're playing will determine whether you'll be able to play that game or not. Now, if you're looking for a mini PC to replace your desktop PC to just play games, then maybe a mini PC is not what you think it is. It doesn't have a dedicated GPU in here, so you are using onboard graphics. So bear that in mind, it is a still a powerful PC to do all of your daily tasks like office work, uh, uh, photo editing or even video editing. It can handle 4K video editing, no problem at all. And playing games like you see like this. So all in all, it's a really decent mini PC. Now, a big thanks to Geekom for sending this out for review. Remember, all my opinions are my own and no one is reviewing this video before it's released. So how much does it cost? Well, it's not cheap. It's £649. But if you're looking for a very powerful mini PC, then the Geekom XT12 Pro is a pretty good choice. You're getting a 12th generation Intel Core i9-12900H processor in here, 32 gigabytes of RAM and a one terabyte NVMe drive. And all this can be upgraded if you need more memory or you need more storage. You can do it's a pretty decent mini PC by Geekom. I've reviewed a few of these and they're right up there with some of the best mini PCs that you can buy at this sort of price. And again, if you're looking for something to install, maybe uh, Linux, this will run with Linux on it as well. If you're a Linux user, then something like this will be perfectly fine. Anyway, I think that is going to be about it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. I'll be happy to read your comments my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk just want to say a quick shout out to all my youtube members who join my youtube members group i really do appreciate the support and i shall catch you on the discord server for a chat or i'll see you in the next video bye for now